Chapter 17 A few days after we shared Twizzlers at the movie, Jeremiah announced, I'm going to teach Belly how to drive stick shift today. Do you mean it? I said eagerly. It was a clear day, the first all week, a perfect day for driving. It was Jeremiah's day off, and I couldn't believe he was willing to spend it teaching me how to drive stick. I'd been begging him since last year to teach me. Stephen had tried and had given up after our third lesson. Stephen shook his head and took a swig of orange juice from the carton on the table. Do you want to die, man? Because Belly will kill you both, not to mention your clutch. Don't do it. I'm telling you this as your friend. Shut up, Stephen, I yelled, kicking him under the table. Just because you're a terrible teacher. Page 81. Stephen had refused to get into the car with me again after I'd accidentally gotten a teeny tiny dent in his fender when he was teaching me how to parallel park. I'm confident in my teaching skills, Jeremiah said. By the time I'm finished with her, she'll be better than you. Stephen snorted. Good luck. Then he frowned. How long are you going to be gone? I thought we were going to the driving range. You could come with us, I offered. Stephen ignored me and said to Jeremiah, You need to practice your swing, dude. I glanced at Jeremiah, who looked at me and hesitated. I'll be back by lunch. We can go after, he said. Stephen rolled his eyes. Fine. I could tell he was annoyed and a little hurt, which made me feel both smug and sorry for him. He wasn't used to being left out of things the way I was. We went out to practice on the road that led down to the other side of the beach. It was quiet. There was no one else out on the road, just us. We listened to Jeremiah's old Nevermind CD from a million years ago. It's hot when a girl can drive stick, Jeremiah explained above Kurt Cobain. It shows she's competent. She knows what she's doing. I put the car into first gear and eased my foot off the clutch. I thought boys liked it when girls were helpless. Page 82. They like that too, but I just happen to prefer smart, confident girls. Bull, you like Taylor and she's not like that. He groaned and stuck his arm out the window. Do you have to bring that up again? I'm just saying. She wasn't that smart and confident. Maybe not, but she definitely knew what she was doing, he said before exploding into laughter. I hit him on the arm hard. You're so gross, I said. And you're also a liar. I know for a fact that you guys didn't even get to second. He stopped laughing. Okay, fine. We didn't. But she was a good kisser. She tasted like Skittles. Taylor loved Skittles. She was always popping them into her mouth like vitamins, like they were good for her. I wondered how I'd stacked up against Taylor if he thought I'd been a good kisser, too. I sneaked a peek at him, and he must have seen it on my face because he laughed and said, But you, you were the best, Bells. I punched him on the arm, and even then he didn't stop laughing. He just laughed harder. Don't take your foot off the clutch, he said, gasping with laughter. I was kind of surprised he even remembered. Page 83. I mean, it had been memorable for me, but it had been my first kiss, and it had been Jeremiah. But the fact that he remembered, that sort of made his laughing okay. You were my first kiss, I said. I felt like I could say anything to him at that moment. It felt like how it used to be with us before we grew up and things got complicated. It felt easy and friendly and normal. He looked away embarrassed. Yeah, I know. How did you know? I demanded. Had I been that awful at kissing that he suspected? How humiliating. Hmm. Taylor told me. Afterward. What? I can't believe she did that. That Judas. I almost stopped the car. Actually, I could believe it. But it still felt like a betrayal. It's no big deal. But his cheeks were patchy and pink. I mean, the first time I kissed a girl was a joke. She kept telling me I was doing it wrong. Who? Who was your first kiss? You don't know her. It doesn't matter. Come on, I whittled. Tell me. We stalled out then, and Jeremiah said, Just put your foot on the clutch and put it in neutral. Not until you tell me. Fine. It was Christina Turnduck, he said, ducking his head. You kissed Turnduckin? Now I was laughing. I did so know Christina Turnduck. She used to be a cousin's regular just like us, only she lived there year-round. Page 84. She had a big crush on me, Jeremiah said, shrugging his shoulders. Did you tell Con and Stephen? Hell no, I didn't tell them. I kissed Turnduckin, he said, and you better not either. Pinky promise? I offered him my pinky and we shook on it. Christina Turnduck. She did kiss nice. She taught me everything I know. I wonder whatever happened to her. I wondered if Turnduckin had been a better kisser than me, too. She must have been, if she had taught Jeremiah. We stalled out again. This sucks. I quit. There's no quitting and driving, Jeremiah ordered. Come on. I sighed and started the car up again. Two hours later, I had it, sort of. I still stalled out, but I was getting somewhere. I was driving. Jeremiah said I was a natural. By the time we got back to the house, it was after four, and Stephen had left. I guess he'd gotten tired of waiting and had gone to the driving range by himself. My mother and Susanna were watching old movies in Susanna's room. It was dark, and they had the curtains drawn. I stood out their door a minute, listening to them laugh. I felt left out. I envied their relationship. They were exactly like co-pilots, in perfect balance. Page 85 
I didn't have that kind of friendship, the forever kind of friendship that will last your whole life through, no matter what. I walked into the room, and Susanna said, Belly, come watch movies with us. I crawled into bed in between the two of them. Lying on the bed in the semi-dark, it felt cozy, like we were in a cave. Jeremiah has been teaching me how to drive, I told them. Darling boy, Susanna said, smiling faintly. Brave, too, my mother said. She tweaked my nose. I snuggled under the comforter. He was pretty great. It had been nice of him to take me out driving when no one else would. Just because I banged up the car a few times, it didn't mean that I was going to end up being an excellent driver like everyone else. Thanks to him, I could drive stick now. I was going to be one of those confident girls, the kind who knows what she's doing. When I got my license, I would drive up to Susanna's house and take Jeremiah for a drive, to thank him 